Futures literacy is the skill of diversifying how and why we imagine futures. It is the practice of imagining different kinds of futures, like probable, desirable, or completely unfamiliar ones, and looking through those futures to see today's world anew. The Futures Literacy was in a week-long workshop organized by the UNFCCC in South Korea. And imagine a world in 50 and 100 years' time. Imagination of pos possible futures. I think we can shape and invent new futures and opportunities, and uh, that is really fascinating. I realized that the futures literacy is an essential part of responsible policy making. We know that we have to find different pathways. We have to test new approaches, new methodologies, new paradigms. You have to be ready for a different type of working, thinking and dealing with reality every, every day. Future literacy is like a stretching of your imagination. Future literacy has to be everywhere. Most organizations consider the future in too few ways for a limited set of reasons. For example, to make plans or embark towards visions. While this is important, by expanding the variety of approaches and purposes for imagining futures, organizations and communities can notice more aspects of our ever-changing world and spot more opportunities for innovation. It was a great challenge for us to start thinking about the future. When I uh, hear that somebody wants to know something about my future and my future of the city where I live in, then it's really difficult to get rid of the present and think directly in the future in a new concept. It is difficult. It is not impossible. A great challenge for us to use the, 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 the future's literacy as a tool to face all these uh, uh, changes happen in the, in the region, in our area. What's most inspiring to me is, is what's revealed through those Futures Literacy Labs. When you think about, you know, the long term, the future, it all connects back to today. It was really interesting to see how you can apply Futures Literacy in basically any field and in basically any sector. Even when imagination seemed to play a role in innovation, it actually was very, very once you undress it, it's always the same. Uh, it's like watching the same play. You take Shakespeare's King Lear, for example, and yes, you can have it set in the medieval period, Japan, on the International Space Station, but it's always the same play. And that's where, to me, Futures Literacy was just mind-blowing, is that suddenly you can start changing the play. Not only are you playing with the constructs, and the decoration and the set, you are actually becoming an author and changing the play. Or using Futures Literacy definitely gives you hope. We can imagine it to be what we want it to be and what, how we imagine and talk and think about the future then affects it. Future is our business, so we are mandated to think and experiment with different futures, in our case specifically when, when it comes to climate change, uh, to imagine and work towards a decarbonized future. It was amazing to see them almost awake up their imagination of what contribution they could make and their sector could make. And you can see that people have much more imagination than they normally believe. It's crazy what, what things people can imagine when you give them the space and the right mindset to, to play with it. I think that A, that invitation to participate in imagining the future and not having a future purely imposed on you is actually a very important layer of bringing people into that type of journey together. It's very important in that moment when you're analyzing the present system to think about the future in the sense that you often analyze the present with very biased view, very biased lenses. EIT Climate Kick is working to develop futures literacy across its whole ecosystem. They are using this new skill to enable systems level transformation to address the climate emergency. Make concrete steps to um, influencing that, to feeling like I have more of a choice and I have more agency. Um, that, felt, that felt new to me at the time. I found it hugely useful from uh, exercises in workshops where by inviting people to think with a future lens you actually open up conversations that I think 
would be very, very difficult to have. I've learned so much throughout the process and uh, I certainly don't think it ends here. The destination is the obstacle. Getting that to feeling like I have more of a choice and I have more agency. I see there is a huge potential from the ground, from the industries or sectors that need to reinvent themselves. For me, future literacy should be a dimension and it will build a bridge between the optimism and responsibility. The workshop actually woke me up and, and in, reinvigorated my imagination. I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> the future is our business. A great challenge. I certainly don't think it ends here. <laughs>